Example, f equals to 2x squared plus y cubed minus 3x times y squared minus x squared times y. Solution. Differentiate f with respect to x first. x variables exist in three places. So just differentiate these terms with respect to x to have f sub x equals to 4x minus 3y squared minus 2xy. Ignore the y to the 3 because there is no x variable we have taken with respect to x. My independent variable is x. Now take the same function and differentiate it with respect to y. These three terms have y variables. So just differentiate them with respect to y to have f sub y equals to 3y squared minus 6xy minus x squared. Ignore 2x squared because there is no y variable. We deal with the y. The independent variable is y. This is the first order. Now start it for the second order. Take f sub x and differentiate it with respect to x. x exists at two places. Just differentiate these two terms with respect to x to have f sub double x equals to 4 minus 2y. Differentiation of f sub x with respect to x is 4 minus 2y. Now differentiate f sub x with respect to y. These are the two terms with y variables. Just differentiate them with respect to y to have f sub x y equals to minus 6y minus 2x. Differentiation of f sub x with respect to y equals to minus 6y minus 2x. Take f sub y now. Differentiate it with respect to x first. The variables x exist here. So differentiate them with respect to x to have f sub y x equals to minus 6y minus 2x. Differentiation of f sub y with respect to x is minus 6 minus 2x. Now take it again and differentiate it with respect to y. y variables are here and just differentiate these terms with respect to y to have f sub double y equals to 6y minus 6x. Differentiation of f sub y with respect to y is 6y minus 6x. And that's all for the second derivative. So we're gonna stop it here. Until now I have differentiated this function up to second order. Remember this f sub x y and f sub y x have always similar values. Now let me do a tutorial of partial differentiation up to third order in the next lecture. Let me do a tutorial of partial differential equation up to third derivative term. Example f equals to x to the 3 plus y to the 3 minus 3a square times x square times y square minus 4x square times y. Solution. Differentiate the function f with respect to x first and the variable x exists at three places. Just differentiate these terms with respect to x to have f sub x equals to 3x square minus 6a square times xy square minus 8xy. Ignore y to the 3 because there is no x variable. My independent variable is x. Now take this function and differentiate it again with respect to y. These are the terms with y variables, so just differentiate them with respect to y to have f sub y equals to 3y square minus 6a square times x square times y minus 4x square. Ignore x to the 3 because there is no y variable. Until now the function has been differentiated up to first order and now go for the second order. Take f sub x and differentiate it first with respect to x. These are the x variable terms. Just differentiate them with respect to x. Differentiation of f sub x with respect to x is 6x minus 6a squared times y squared minus 8y. And then differentiate it with respect to y. The variables y exist at two places. Differentiate these terms with respect to y. Differentiation of f sub x with respect to y is minus 12a squared times xy minus. Now take f sub y, differentiate it first with respect to x. These are the terms with the x variables. Just differentiate them with respect to x. Differentiation of f sub y with respect to x is minus 12a squared times xy minus 8x. And then differentiate it with respect to y. y variables are at two places. Just differentiate them with respect to y to have f sub double y. Differentiation of f sub y with respect to y is 6y minus 6a squared times x squared. So we have done with the second order. Now I'm gonna go for the third order. For the third order, take f sub double x and differentiate it with respect to x first. This is the x term, just differentiate it with respect to x to have f sub triple x. Differentiation of f sub double x with respect to x is minus six. And then differentiate it with respect to y. 
y variables exist in two terms just differentiate them with respect to y to have f sub double x y differentiation of f sub double x with respect to y is minus 12 a square times y minus 8 now take f sub x y differentiate it first with respect to x the variables x exist in both terms just differentiate them with respect to x to have f sub x y x Differentiation of f sub x y with respect to x is minus 12 a squared times y minus 8. And then differentiate it with respect to y. Just differentiate with respect to y to have f sub x y y. Differentiation of f sub x y with respect to y is minus 12 a squared times x. Now take this one. Differentiate f sub y x first with respect to x. Both the terms have x variables. Just differentiate them with respect to x to have f sub y double x. Differentiation of f sub y x with respect to x is minus 12 a square times y minus 8. And then with respect to y. This is the term with a y variable. Just differentiate with respect to y to have f sub y x y. Differentiation of f sub y x with respect to y is minus 12 a square times x. Now take this one and differentiate f sub double y. With respect to x first, x variable is here, just differentiate it with respect to x to have f sub double y x. And then differentiate it with respect to y, this is the term with the y variable. Just differentiate it with respect to y to have f sub triple y equals to minus 6. Differentiation of f sub double y with respect to y is minus 6. And that's all. It is a process up to third order. Now look at here, f sub x y equals to f sub y x. They have similar values, minus 12 a square times x, y minus 8 x. But in some cases, you may have similar values in the third order, as we have them here. Similarly for here, and also here. And that's all for the higher order partial differentiation.